Welcome to the commencement exercises at Chapman University.
Dean Roxanne Greitz Miller, I am honored to announce the members of the graduating class of 2022, the faculty and staff of Chapman University, and representation from the Board of Trustees and administration are now present. All are gathered here for the degree ceremony for the Donna Ford Atala College of Educational Studies at Chapman University. Thank you, Dr. Haas, and congratulations on your upcoming retirement after 25 years. 25 years of mentoring, teaching, research, and service at Chapman University. I invite everyone to congratulate again, Dr. Haas, with the support of our college and university faculty peers, who by approval of the provost has earned the rank of Professor Emeritus. We look forward to formally celebrating your retirement with you this August. I now invite everyone to stand if you are able and to face the flag behind you as we listen to the U.S. National Anthem, sung by Amanda Lee Dodson, who is who is graduating today with a Master of Arts degree in Curriculum and Instruction. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Thank you, Amanda, that was absolutely beautiful. Please be seated. I now invite Reverend Nancy Brink, the Donna Ford and Fami Atala Endowed Director of Church Relations to give a short invocation. Let us join our hearts and minds. Giver of summer graces, we gather to give thanks for this journey completed. We gather in the presence of those who read us bedtime stories and taught us to tie our shoes, imagining a hopeful future for us. We give thanks for those who nurtured us. We gather with the memories of teachers who have made a difference in our lives, helping a concept, an idea come alive in us. We give thanks for those who have taught us. We gather knowing that these graduates are charged with the great calling to shape and inspire others through education. May our celebration today be a joyous doorway to this noble calling. Be with us as we celebrate. Amen.
graduates, family members by blood and by love, and treasured friends. It is my distinct honor as dean to welcome you to the class of 2022 degree ceremony. Atala College represents a vibrant combination of undergraduate and graduate degree programs in education, teacher preparation, leadership studies, school counseling, and school psychology. At our ceremony last year, I spoke about the persistence and perseverance that our 2020 and 2021 graduates possessed in getting to the finish line of their degrees amidst COVID-19. For our graduates today, you possess the same persistence and perseverance as your predecessors, perhaps even more so. However, I want to focus on a different sentiment with our entire Atala College family today, one that I hope you will feel as deeply as I do, and that is gratitude. Our time together with all of you this academic year in person and on our beautiful campus after more than a year of purely virtual relationships has truly been a gift. One of the hallmarks of an Atala College education is the personal connections that all members of our college, students, faculty, and staff have with one another. Being able to come together this year and to establish or to renew our relationships with one another has been so very important to fulfilling the Chapman mission of a personalized education. I am grateful to all of our faculty members for their hard work, effort, patience, and understanding as they supported you and their colleagues through the pandemic and our return to campus. I am grateful to all of our Atala College staff members for all they do for our students and our faculty. Their commitment is evidenced in part by their presence here today to support our event and to see you, our students, off to your bright futures. I am grateful to our donors for all their support of our college, our people, and our dreams. I am grateful to our students' families and their friends for the sacrifices, the support, the sleepless nights where you worried, the encouraging phone calls, the FaceTimes and text messages, the food and shelter, and all the other things you have done. But most importantly, for the love and the commitment you have provided to these graduates. It is a large part of why they are here today, graduating from Chapman University. And finally, I am grateful to each and every student graduating today for your commitment to changing education and changing the world. Today is not the end of your Chapman journey. It's only the beginning. Our faculty and staff, your friends and family, and countless persons you have not yet met and can in no way predict will be impacted by you, your actions, and the life you choose to live. As you depart from us, I hope you will endeavor to give more than you take, to listen more than you speak, and in the words of Rumi, to wear gratitude like a cloak, allowing it to feed every corner of your life. I now have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker, Ms. Rachel Mary Wigand. In 2012, President Emeritus Jim Doty established the Doty Awards for Outstanding Graduate Students, one master's level and one doctoral level, in recognition of the tremendous growth and quality of Chapman University's graduate education programs. Rachel, graduating today with her master's and specialist degrees in school psychology, is the 2022 winner of the university's Doty Award at the master's level. Fieldwork supervisors and Chapman faculty have called Rachel a tremendous asset in our program in K-12 schools. Her school and clinic-based work has supported youth in difficult circumstances at home 
including domestic and community violence. Outside of classes, Rachel has presented peer-reviewed posters and papers at state and national conferences on topics including supporting minoritized graduate students, K-12 absenteeism, student mental health, and adolescent substance abuse. She has contributed to multiple peer-reviewed publications, served in Chapman School Psychology Association, and in three roles in the Graduate Student Division of the National Association of School Psychologists. Rachel was also the recipient of the Warm Family Foundation Scholarship, the most competitive scholarship in the School Psychology Program, as well as the California Association of School Psychologists Paul Hankin Scholarship. She co-founded the Social Justice and Equity Collective in the School Psychology Program, which gives students and program faculty a place to discuss social justice and advocacy topics. It's my pleasure to present the Doty Award trophy and $1,000 prize to Rachel Wigand and to welcome her to the podium to deliver our keynote address. It's very heavy. You can come over. Thank you, Dean Miller, and congratulations on your recent appointment as Dean for the next four years. I am humbled and honored to receive this award. I share it with every one of you here today, for without you, I could never have had the opportunities, experiences, and inspiration I have known at Chapman. I would like to give special thanks to my partner, Christian, my family, my 2022 school psychology cohort mates, <laughs> and our school counseling colleagues, our school psychology and counseling faculty and staff, and Dr. Amy Jane Griffiths for your teaching, guidance, and mentorship. I don't believe I've been quite this happy since I won an art contest in the second grade. My winning entry was a crayon drawing of a robin. Now, I love drawing and I loved animals, but my real motivation was greed. I longed for the prize that would be awarded the winner, a $25 gift certificate to a university bookstore. So, in spite of my professed ambition of becoming either an artist or a veterinarian, my fate was clear at seven years old. I was meant to pursue a world of books, learning, and ideas. And here I am. We all have stories like this that have led us to this exciting milestone today. We have all traveled divergent paths to get here, and our paths have crossed to create a shared Chapman experience. What does that shared experience mean? For us, it was truly unique and unprecedented. We are all pandemic survivors. We've spent countless hours on Zoom, wearing masks, engaging in social distancing. Our learning often took place not in traditional classrooms, but over an internet connection, and sometimes a very glitchy and unreliable one, miles apart in our own homes. We had limited interactions, studying alone, working over Google Docs, yet somehow staying connected in spite of it all. And through this unique experience, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that everyone routinely stays muted or unmuted on Zoom at inopportune moments. Academic attire now includes a much stronger element of sweatpants, t-shirts, work clothes from the waist up. We have learned that, yes, it is possible to attend an entire class laying down. And no, we cannot see your text messages pop up as you share your screen. <laughs> we have learned that even over Zoom, our professors are brilliant, expert, caring. 
but also seriously hilarious. I could tell you stories, but they would probably take the Doty Award away. <laughs> I'd humbly submit that we've also learned some more profound lessons too. We have learned that trust is everything. Collaboration and relying on each other, sticking together and showing up for each other. All of us together are smarter, more resourceful and more creative than any one of us. We have learned that trust sometimes requires risk and vulnerability. When a project or a situation seems too hard, too ambiguous, nearly impossible, we take that risk, we ask for help, the picture clears, the solution sharpens, and we grow. And this trust includes trusting ourselves, letting go of doubt, taking a deep breath or several, remembering that student-centered learning requires acting on self-trust and taking personal responsibility for our education. We've learned that we are all mentors. We are all sources of support, collaboration, problem solving and decision making. We owe that to each other and to ourselves. We have learned the necessity of open-mindedness, remaining teachable, appreciating the perspectives of others, and developing a tolerance for ambiguity, mystery, and surprise. We have learned that learning never ends. There is no statute of limitations on intellectual growth, and Chapman has helped us become better lifelong learners. Congratulations to you all. It has been a profound privilege to share the Chapman experience with you. May we all remember that we are not leaving the profound lessons we learned here behind. We will carry Chapman University with us for the rest of our lives. In the spirit of the Atala College motto, may we all continue to change education and change the world. Onward. Thank you so much, Rachel. Now it's my privilege to introduce the Provost and Chief Academic Officer of Chapman University, Dr. Norma Bouchard. Thank you, Dean Miller. I can tell you how pleased I am to confer on these distinguished graduates the Chapman degrees that they, have so, that they have worked so hard to earn. In the 160 year history of Chapman University, perhaps no class has ever been better prepared to meet the challenges and opportunities before them. Many of you have received distinguished honors. Others are the first in your family to earn a university degree. But all of you have success through incredibly challenging times. I congratulate each of you, as I do everyone who supported you along the way. I look forward to celebrating the myriad of ways that you will make a difference in the world as world and global citizens. No matter where you go, you can take all that you have experienced and learned from with you. Of course, we hope that you will return often to reconnect with us as cherished members of the Chapman family. You are always welcome here. We shall now proceed with the presentation of candidates for degrees. Each candidate has been approved by the faculty and the board of trustees to receive the degree indicated in the program and on their diploma, subject to the completion of all requirements. Will the candidates from the Donna Ford Atala College of Educational Studies please step forward? Congratulations to the class of 2022. 
I'm Aaron Flewellen, class of 2004 and president of the Chapman University Alumni Board of Directors. It gives me great pride to welcome you to a very special community of Chapman graduates who are spread out around the world. The Alumni Association is dedicated to providing support, assistance, and engagement opportunities to help each of you make the most out of your alumni experience. We've made a promise to help you stay connected to Chapman and to each other, to give you a valued voice in the life of the university, to celebrate your successes and milestones, and to provide programming and services to help you make the most out of your alumni experience. We each are responsible for maintaining our connection to the university in order to take advantage of these benefits. I encourage each of you to find ways to stay connected. As you step off the stage today, members of our alumni board will be handing you an alumni license plate frame. Staying connected can be as simple as putting your license plate frame on your car or updating your contact information with the Alumni Association. Not only will we be able to let you know about opportunities to stay involved, but your parents will appreciate not receiving your mail for the next five years. As you leave here today, I want you to think about a phrase I'm sure you're all very familiar with. I am Chapman. You now join an alumni network with more than 50,000 graduates around the world. We are Chapman. We want to welcome you. We want to network with you. We want to help you land your next job or show you around a new city. We are a Panther family and we're here to assist you in any way that we can. Graduates, I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you and welcome you to the we of the Chapman Alumni Association. Congratulations. Bachelor of Arts, Grace Ann Whitley. Jessica Eileen Flynn. Jordan Hannah Shohet. Claire Kim Mikami. Christina May Thornborough. Michelle Adina Mathalon. Hope Cassandra Blanchard. Kylie Ann McEntee. Lydia K. Beth. Kathleen McKenna Riley. Jenna Marie Ostad. Kennedy Marie Herring. Jamie Lindsay Went. Julia Sarti. Annabelle Rose Finneyfrock. Serena Carly Fangary. <laughs> Natasha Vive Deverne. <laughs> Daniela Marie Bergerson. <laughs> Connie Tian.
Audrey Christian Choi. Grace Paige Rothman. Megan Palmer Dietz. Brent W. Kugler. Tovia Lee Koriski. Katie Sottle. Madeline Rose Railing. Carissa Tao Nguyen. Mia Renee Chinovi. Emily Kim Marr. Haley Jules Burr. Mirabella Treadwell. Madison Noel Tully. Nayeli Yuritza Alvarez Diaz. Brenda Berenice Vasquez. Alondra Castro. <laughs> Brianna Romerios Villa. <laughs> Wendy Elisa Herrera. Danny Tara Gamboa. <laughs> Helena Joanne Swatton. <laughs> Angel Kenab. Alyssa Rose Duncan. Grace Elizabeth Henderson. Mia Christine Ford. Rachel Rosenblum. Sydney Ann Horner.
Samantha Emily Ordesky. Mackenzie Elise Fahey. Erica Nicole Wiles. Victoria Michelle Hall. Kelly Marie Burke. Hannah Lee Welsh. Kiana Kaua Haau Owaiohino Jones. Genevieve Jane Fisher. Tatum Ashley Phillips. Kaylin Marie Zarate. Danielle Elizabeth Mullen. Brian Jeanwook Saul. Taylor Kaleana Moku McGuire. Elizabeth Gimple Kaminsky. Master of Fine Arts, excuse me, Master of Arts, Sabrina Bates Botros. Madeline Leona Kraus. Marcy Garcia Nicanor Pedraza. Alden Lee Maynor. Brittany Eileen Bochessa. Teresa De Rosas. Allison Celeste Tejada. Francisco Lopez Jr. Julia Michelle Minear. Kinsey Lee Klein. Emily Nicole Gibson. Stephanie Ann Coulter.
Tiani Villa Berger. Rayanne Melissa Jacobson. Braden Robert Auer. Amanda Michelle Mulqueen. Angela Lisa Penalver. Candy Lai D. Lynn. Rihanna Jolene Mertz. Danny Kylie Hess. Alicia Manish Patel. Jasmine Koo. Jayun Kim. Gladys Sanchez. Selena Francis Davis. Haley Mackenzie Russo. Yeji Park Mauer. <laughs> Kelly Lynn Ramstack. <laughs> Sonia V. Hall. Anna Ochoa. Claudia Ann Castro. Cassidy L. Dilly. Monica Montano Chavez. <laughs> Esther P. Lynn. <laughs> Julian Garrido Figueroa. Martin Nguyen. Kaylin Mijong Kim. Tamara Nabulsi. Stephanie Ruiz. Yasmin Lorena de la Cruz.
Amber Madrid Navarro. Anjali Mala Seth. Christopher Aaron Ordonez. Derek James Montez McIntyre. Michelle Martinez. Madison Gavella. Duyan T. Dip. Jacqueline Andrea Davila. Guadalupe Espinosa. Angela Vanessa Zuniga. Cheyenne Ramirez. Juliet and Doralde. Kendra Macy Ostrowski. Laura Yixing Ong. Carissa Schubert. Kayla Saruri Jin. Jungmin Grace Lee. Rachel Hahn. Lydia Yoon. Rachel Shenhen Chen. Elaine Young. Rebecca Wu. Lauren Grace Smith. Regina Rosario Cortez. Sarah Anchin Yip. Nikki Mindel. Aaliyah Marie Cohen. Alexis Rose Ribikoff. Nicole Marie Merkel.
Maria Taylor Sanderson. Amanda Lee Dodson. Sophie Talia Bauer. Caitlin Sarah McQuigan. Catherine Lynn Tucker. McKenna Ann Etheridge. George Lambert Tahonera. Delaney Marie Vortman. Brittany Page McPherson. Kimberly D. Cameron. Talia Marie Florio. Paige Elizabeth Gurich. Nicole Ann Schwartz. Mallory Jordan Mathis. Michaela Nicole Hall. Maya A. Yesharim. Kylie Cosette Parks. Briel Alana Banaguro. Jared, Isami, Kula'i, Akapono, Amakealoha, Lum. Josefina Cruz Molina. Catherine Elizabeth Bell. Ashley Yim Ni Pham. Brooke Cameron Denny. Alicia Choi. Alyssa Monique Grimaldo. And Shira Karanchi.
Justin Lamar Riley. Rodolfo Duarte. Educational Specialist, Jasmine Brianna Romero. Victoria Lee Vickers. Casey Alexis Valencia. Rachel Mary Wiegand. Laura Ruelas Valencia. How Nan Kwan. Jacqueline Huerta. Christine Noel Allen. Stephanie Hernandez. Jasmine Ray Romero. Erica Jenna Green. Itzel Mendez Hernandez. Leanne Barajas. Evelyn Aldana Padilla. Eric Anthony Izzo. Paige Nicole Dunsby. Michalina Isabel Franco. Taylor Grace Rossini. Castine Berry. Rebecca A. Meyer Tomato and Ronnie Tomato. The Doctor of Philosophy, or PhD, is the highest academic degree that can be earned within the academy and represents a rigorous and extensive program resulting in breadth and depth of knowledge and expertise in a discipline. The Atala College is very proud to welcome our first doctoral candidates with Shanghai Normal University. As our names are read and photos displayed, please refer to your printed bulletin for the title of each graduate's dissertation. Enat Ben Dov.
Kay Lynn Seha. Douglas Dean Hafford the third. Joey Hyungjun Ryu and guests. Dina Abbas Mahmoud and Alma. Catherine Alejandra Mungia. We'll just take a moment as the remaining graduates join you in your seats. (laughs) 
Following today's ceremony, I invite everyone to meet your graduates on Memorial Lawn at Burt Williams Mall for photos in front of Reeves Hall, the home of the Atala College, located near the Chapman University sign. No degree ceremony would be complete without acknowledging the vital role in your success that your support teams, your family, friends, again, by blood and by love, have played in your achievements. Graduates, please rise. I invite you to turn and show your appreciation to the people who have helped make this moment possible. Thank you. As Dean of the Donna Ford Atala College of Educational Studies, I congratulate the graduates of the class of 2022. You graduates and your families and friends are members of our Chapman family. You may be seated. As our ceremony comes to a close and for all who leave Chapman to take their places in our communities near and far, I feel it's most appropriate to encourage you to reflect on the words inscribed on Schmidt Gate one of the many beautiful landmarks on our campus. It says, let all who depart use their knowledge in the pursuit of truth. To this, I add my wish for you. As you depart, may you also use your knowledge in the pursuit of freedom, in the pursuit of justice, and in the pursuit of love. Congratulations and blessings to you all. This concludes the commencement exercise at Chapman University. Please remain in your seats until the Grand Marshal, platform party, faculty, and students have exited the field. Thank you.